Do you want to know what I think is going to happen with the housing market between now and the end of the year? If you do, you've come to the right place because for my August market update, I'm going to give you a brief overview of what the experts are saying is going to happen to the housing market between now and the end of the year. So first let's talk about prices. I did an exercise. I have an, a background in IT. If you've met me, I've probably told you that. So I like to analyze data. When somebody states a fact for me, I like to know where it comes from. So when we're looking at prices and home prices, and I'm reading here on my chart that the latest forecasts have us continuing to appreciate in pretty much every market. Different markets have different rates of appreciation, of course and there were some markets where prices weren't appreciating. Bernard's Township, which is our local area, although we do serve other areas, in Bernard's Township, I did an exercise. I pulled a bunch of data down from the multiple listing service, historical data. I went back to the beginning of 2020 through the middle of 2023. I found nine properties that sold twice. Of those nine properties, each and every one of them appreciated. There was only one that had less than a 10% appreciation. All of the other ones had more. But on average, those nine houses, if you look at the average appreciation, you want to guess what it was? I don't know if you'll be able to guess. Oh, maybe you can. Anyway, I will tell you it was 24%. Bernard's Township is not unique. Many places in our market area are appreciating at that pace. We do anticipate that pace is going to slow a little bit, but it is not going to reverse. So I can tell you the average of all of the forecasts that I have that are you're going to see in this chart. It's Fannie Mae, which is one of the financial outfits, MBA, which is the Mortgage Bankers Association, the NAR, which is the National Association of Realtors, and Realtor.com. The average of those four predictions between now and the end of the year is that prices will continue to appreciate by 0.7%. That sounds like a really small number, and I can tell you from my personal experience in Somerset County, we're going to see much higher appreciation than 0.7%. If you're watching me, it's probably because you're interested in our market area. I do not anticipate that prices are going to come down or even stay flat between now and the end of the year. They're going to continue to rise. And let's talk about the predictions for how many homes will actually sell this year. The average prediction is that we will sell 5 million units this year. So even though inventory is low and that continues to be a challenge, we still expect 5 million properties to trade hands by the end of 2023. That number may come up if interest rates come down just a little bit. So what do these predictions mean for you? Well, the answer there is, it depends. What are your goals? What are your needs? Are you a homeowner? Are you hoping to be a homeowner? Would you like to invest in real estate? Whether you're thinking about making a move now or 10 years from now, connecting with a real estate agent who can be a trusted advisor for you, who can help you stay on top of market trends and your property's value or what your rent may be a year from now, that's always a good thing. Build that relationship now so that when you're ready, you have somebody that you know, you like, and you trust who can help guide you there. If you found this information helpful and you enjoyed this video and you would like to connect with the Blanchard team, you can find us on YouTube, you can find us on Facebook, you can follow us on Instagram. In most places on social media, we are J Blanchard Homes. You can also Google the Blanchard team, Berkshire Hathaway. I'm sure you'll be able to find us. We don't hide and we are more than happy to be your real estate guide. Every time. All right, Jared, don't use that. Okay, don't use that.